Just want to make a quick note on setting up your memory. So most memory is going to have a, an XMP profile, at least higher end stuff. And what I found though is that if you go to CPU Z, and I'm using the Intel Patriot Intel Extreme Master stuff still, if you go to CPU Z and you go to the SPD tab under the timings table for the XMP profile timings, it says. 11, 11, 11, 27, and then for the command rate it says 3T. But if you actually go here and set the XMP profile and then you go into CPU Z and have a look there, it'll be 11, 11, 11, 27. That stuff is right, but it'll say 2T there. And I found that this particular kit of memory with this motherboard, which is the Empire still, actually fails Prime 95 when it's on 2T command rate. So in order to actually get the the memory running properly I basically just went to uh, the advanced DRAM timing thing and keyed in just these few 11, 11, 11, 27 as well as manually putting the command rate to 3 instead of 2 and then when the command rate is set to 3 that works properly and it doesn't fail during prime. One other quick note is if you're using the XMP profile it, that will take care of setting the voltage properly so in this case for the Patriot stuff it's 1.5 volts but if you're leaving the XMP disabled and setting it manually here then you want to go to DRAM voltage and and set it manually otherwise it'll it'll set it automatically and it might bump it up higher than it needs to be uh, like 1.65 or something like that. Also, if you put in 1.5, it will actually hit, it will say auto because it doesn't like going below, um, it doesn't like going below 1.5. I found a weird quirk is you need to say 1.51 and then it will set it to 1.5055. And so that's how I basically figured out how to get the Patriot stuff running at the proper 2133 MHz speed because the XMP profile, even though it was the, in the specs in CPU-Z it says the command rate in the spec is 3T but if you actually enable it in the BIOS it'll set to 2T for the command rate and then that won't work properly. So I just went in and set it myself and if you're having trouble, if you have the similar kind of RAM maybe have a look at the CPU-Z timings tables and see if you're having the same problem.